Everyone has to live somewhere, and everyone has to invest their money someplace. So what happens when where you live meets up with where your money is invested? Hello, real estate. If you decide to sell your home without a real estate agent, you should consider using a multiple listing service. Someone asked me about using a for sale by owner website to sell a home after getting kind of fed up with a real estate agent. And I said, that's fine. I have often recommended using FISBO sites, but there's a difference in what happens and what you have to do. This particular person noticed a big difference in the price for websites that included a listing on the MLS, right? Multiple listing service for six months. And versus just sort of doing it on your own and having it just be in this FISBO kind of listing service. He wondered if an MLS listing is really necessary. Here's what I think about MLSs. There are all kinds of statistics out there that indicate that most homes sell with the help of a real estate agent, right? It's probably 85%, somewhere between 85 and 92% of all homes are gonna sell with the help of a real estate agent. Not all of those agents will belong to a multiple listing service. But the number one tool to market those homes is probably the MLS. And the vast majority of agents you're going to work with are realtors. Realtors belong to the local MLS. In most markets, the MLS gives real estate agents the ability to view and review all listings in a geographic area at certain price points. Some industry observers say that if your home isn't on the MLS, you're actually losing out on the single most effective tool to sell your house. 20 years ago, a FISBO seller would advertise a home in local newspapers and basically stick a lawn sign in the yard. Few, if any, of these FISBO sellers succeeded in selling their homes, and if they did, it took a while because it was really hard to find, right? You'd have to actually open up the local newspaper that particular day, or you'd have to drive by the property and see the sign. More recently, the internet has started to level the playing field, which is great. And there are a lot of different options other than hiring a full service real estate agent. But many buyers still work with real estate agents full service on the purchase side. And those buyer agents rely on the MLS to show them quickly and easily what homes are available. Now you can go to places like Zillow and there are other kinds of F FIS for sale by owner, FISBO sites. And buyers will often do this work ahead of time and then present a list of available properties they want to see to the agent. What does the agent do? The agent then goes back to the MLS to find out which ones are actually available and who's offering what kind of commission. If many or most buyers work with real estate agents that use the MLS, right, a FISBO seller could potentially lose access to a large percentage of buyers looking for homes out there, which is why most FISBO sellers try to find a way to get their homes onto the local MLS. The FISBO services that you see in a package can assist you with this, right? And, and they will often have that MLS available. They are charging you just a little bit more than what they get charged by the MLS to list the properties. You'll want to give your home the greatest exposure to the biggest number of buyers. So you're not going to want to exclude a major source of potential buyers when marketing your home, hence why most people go MLS. Make sure you understand what it's going to take to sell your home. Don't overprice it because just trying to sell it yourself already is a big step. And then if you overprice it, you're not going to really have a good result. You've got to make sure that your home shows really well inside and out. Take beautiful digital photos to post on all kinds of websites from Zillow to your own website to Craigslist, wherever it is. You could create a beautiful brochure virtually or you can print it out. You can make sure that the description of your home is interesting and succinct and emphasizes the strengths and of course be as accurate as possible. As the real estate market has improved in many areas, I think that everybody has a better chance of selling their home today on their own than you might have had a year or two ago, right? But remember, when you're a FISBO, you take on the role of the agent as well as the role of the seller. And that's a lot for any one person. It's easy to make a mistake, and then your house is just going to sit there month in, month out, and everybody else's market, uh, house is going to sell in the market. So you have to decide if you've got what it takes and you're willing to make the choices you need to make to actually said on your, sell on your own. So having said all that, if you list your house on your own, right, as a FISBO, and you haven't sold in three to six weeks, 
I think you should consider putting your house into the MLS and probably hiring a real estate agent. Because unless you get super lucky at that point, you've already attracted all the attention that you're gonna attract and you'll probably wait a lot longer for the right buyer to come along than you want to. And after all, you're only listing your house for sale because it's time to move on with your life. Thanks for watching this episode of Big Money Real Estate. As always, send me your real estate investing questions on Twitter and Facebook and share this video all around. Until next time, I'm Elise Glink. Mm -hmm.